Hello friends, welcome to today's lesson. Today we'll be talking about cooperation. What is cooperation? Cooperation is a process of working together to achieve a common goal. It can also be defined as an art of working together for a common purpose or benefit. That is cooperation. You know, it, it means joining hands together with other people in the school, society, or church, or community to achieve a set goal. Remember, united we stand, divided we fall. What are the attributes of cooperation? Let's see the attributes of cooperation. Number one attribute of cooperation is sharing. You know, like we said in definition, it's a process of working together. Now, when people come together, they need to share things. You now, sharing this indicates using things with one another within a group or in a society. So, number one attribute is sharing. Another attribute of cooperation is caring. This is an art of showing or displaying kindness and concern for others. We have to show kindness. We have to show concern about others in the group or in the society because caring is an attribute of cooperation. Now, the number three attribute of cooperation is love. Wow, love is very important. Without love, there will not be and cooperation. So, the love it is necessary. It is very necessary to show love, care, and concern about someone else's feeling in the society, even including members of our family or our friends. So, love is an important attribute of cooperation. Yeah, the next is supporting. Yes, yeah, supporting is an attribute of cooperation. You know, in every society, or organization, or group, there are people who are stronger than some. There are people who are richer than others. You know? So it, those who are strong, we have to help those who are weak to be able to achieve the group goal. And those who are rich, will be able to what? Support those who are poor. So supporting is an attribute of cooperation. All right, let's move further. What are the factors that promote cooperation? What are the factors that promote cooperation? Number one factor is setting clear goals. Goal setting. Goal setting is very, very important for cooperation to take place, to be, to be more effective. Now, goal setting involves establishing specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-targeted goals. If, if every member of the group or the society know the goal, the aim of that group, you will see it will improve the cooperation among them. So setting goals is one of the factors that promotes cooperation. And number two factor is understanding. Understanding is so important for cooperation to be effective and efficient because understanding is having knowledge of the need of the group or community or society and understanding the reason there should be provision to meet that need. Understanding is so important to make cooperation effective. Then number three is communication. Communication means exchange of ideas. In a group, you must, the group members must learn to share ideas uh, or passing across messages from one person to another. That is cooperation. Every member of the group must be carried along by communicating with them at every stage of decision making. So communication is 
very important. Communication helps to strengthen cooperation. Then the next is commitment. Yeah, commitment is another factor that promotes cooperation. Commitment um, is to achieve the uh, organization goals. Every member of the organization or group must be committed and be ready to sacrifice their resources, such as money, time, talent, and many others to achieve a common goal. Remember, that is the purpose of cooperation. Okay, so let's go further. Why do we need cooperation? What are the benefits of cooperation? Number one benefit of cooperation is harmony. It is very important to know that when a particular group of people agree to work together, it helps to improve cooperation. It's a benefit of cooperation. You know, harmony is working together peacefully, togetherness. So that's one of the benefits of cooperation. You find that everybody is united. Then number two is peaceful coexistence. Peaceful coexistence. You know, if there's cooperation in a society, everyone will live in peace. You'll see that there will be peace and tranquility in that society or in that group. So number three, benefit of cooperation is progress and rapid development. Yes, the team or the group begin to make progress as they unite, come together with one mind to achieve a specific goal. You see that because of the unity among them, they begin to achieve every of their goals. So you see they're making progress and to bring about development, especially when it comes to a society. And the next benefit of cooperation is the achievement of a set goal. Yes, the achievement of a set goal. When a goal is being set, for example, in a football team, their, their aim is to, their goal is to win a specific match. Now, you see, everybody will begin to have to work together to achieve that goal. That's why one of the benefits of cooperation. And lastly, there will be trust and confidence among the people. If we work together, we will trust each other, we will have confidence in each other. And it will help towards strengthening our friendship, our relationship, and improve our society. So be an advocate of cooperation. Make sure you can always work as a team with a group of persons to achieve a goal. So that will bring us to the end of this class. And I hope you've learned something in this lesson. Thank you for joining in and have a nice time.